Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Well, it's been about six or eight months since I purchased my Blue Eddy AC200 Max. And I've, I've done a lot of research since then and added some components to my system. And I wanted to show them to you today because I think they're kind of neat and um, maybe a little bit thinking out of the box um, to maybe some of you aren't doing what I'm doing. And I learned so many things watching other videos of, of folks, um, you know, that have uh, done reviews on the Blue Eddy and, and other components they've hooked up to them and so on. And one of the things that I needed to do, because I bought the Blue Eddy to run my motorhome, but the motorhome is sitting in the driveway and I didn't want to waste the my technology my blue eddy so i brought it into the house and you can see this is my actually my furnace room the furnace is uh there and um i set up this room to be my i guess you could call it my blue eddy uh, uh server room and um you know i have things like a little camera sitting up here um i'm using uh smart plug technology to be able to turn off um, charging of the Blue Eddy and other devices that I have hooked up um, in my server rack here. Now the one thing that I needed to do was I needed to add more power, more storage is what I should say, not power but more storage. Um, I have lots of power as far as the AC200 Max goes. I'm running my furnace and a couple of fridges on it at this point. And I've actually been able to save quite a bit of money per month running the, uh, these appliances through the Blue Eddy just using time sharing. So my hydro cost about 15 cents per kilowatt hour um, during the peak time during the day but it goes down to half of that um, between 7 p.m. at night and 7 a.m. in the morning. So what I've been doing, using these smart plugs, I have the smart plug, smart plug one, set up to turn on the Blue Eddy charging brick after 7 p.m. at night, and then I make sure that it turns off before 7 a.m. in the morning. Now, depending on what kind of a day I'm having, if the sunlight is really shining like it is today, I'm getting currently about 250 watts from my solar panels. Those are three 200 watt Renogy solar panels that are hooked in through here. And they're going into the traditional PV port of the Blue Eddy. But I also have another connection and that's here and this is also in my backyard and it's for my PV350 solar panel and I stick that out there on good dry sunny days so I can realistically on a really good day I can be getting almost five six hundred watts of, of charge so the conundrum I ran into was this I've got all this free wattage and of course you're going to say well you know you got to pay for the solar panels and the unit and I understand all that but at the same time I have all this uh, all this power coming in and I can only store so much of it in the Blue Eddy so I thought okay what do I do well I looked at the um, the Blue Eddy expansion batteries for the AC200 Max and we're looking at $1,700 um, in Canada, plus tax. And then if you wanted to have a um, another brick to charge it, you're another couple hundred bucks. Or you can use the DC enhancer, another couple hundred bucks. And I thought, well, if I'm going to spend some money to get a battery for more storage, why don't I build redundancy into my plan at the same time? So I thought, okay, we're out in the RV, we're in the middle of nowhere, and uh, the Blue 80 decides to 
kaput. Well, what do I do? It's running the RV. It's my main battery source for my RV. So, you know, I do have a generator on the RV, yes, but we don't want to be running the generator 24 seven. So I thought if I spent 1700 plus tax for the Blue Eddy expansion battery, then I'm still kind of stuck using it with the AC 200 max. So I need to think of some other solution. And this is what I came up with. So recently, Dr. Prepare came up with a sale on their 100 amp hour lithium phosphate battery for 330 bucks US. And then you can buy the little hub that comes with it. And I'll do a, another video on a review of this battery. But for now, I'm just going to explain what I'm doing with it as far as the Blue Eddy goes. So I thought, okay, 330 bucks. If something did happen to the Blue Eddy and I needed it another way to power the residential fridge on my RV, the lights, um, you know, all those types of things, then having the doctor prepare as a secondary storage device starts to really make sense because I can buy a, say, a Renogy um, 1000 watt inverter for about less than $200. So you add that to the doctor prepare, we're under $500. So I can still run my fridge, I can still do all the things that I need to do in the RV in the middle of nowhere if the Blue Eddy AC Max has an issue. So that was my reasoning for wanting to um, to use the, uh, the doctor prepare as a secondary storage um, device. So then you say to yourself, well, okay, that's fine, but how do you charge the doctor prepare once it's run down? So I've come up with a couple of scenarios, and one of them is this. If I've got a whole lack of solar coming into the Blue Eddy, we've also got the 30, the 12 volt 30 amp DC output. So what I've done is I've connected a 24 volt to 12 volt DC DC step down device which goes into the doctor prepare and the blue eddy is actually charging the doctor prepare it works really well I mean the same scenario of course I'm doing the other way to bring power from the doctor prepare I've got a 12 volt to 24 volt step up device and it's going through the DC enhancer providing me with about 223 watts of charge so I, I've, I've got it set up so I can pull power from the doctor prepare to give to the Blue Eddy but at the same time I'm able to charge the doctor prepare from the Blue Eddy so it's a great, it, 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 it's, it's really working like a, uh, an expansion battery from Blue Eddy in that sense at a fraction of the cost and also adding redundancy to my system. So it works out really well. Now the other thing that I've done to cover all my bases is this. I bought the NOCO Genius Pro 25 amp. And it's an expensive device, but it has some, has some features on it that also help to charge the Blue Eddy and so on. But I, I'm not going to go into that now. I'll do another video about that because it, 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 it'll take too much time. But so I can charge the Dr. Prepare battery in about two and a half to three hours from, from almost dead up to full charge using the NOCO Genius Pro 25 and if we're out on the road and I don't have any solar on the panels on the roof of the RV then I can use my generator plug the NOCO Genius into it the Blue Eddy brick into it charge the Blue Eddy and the doctor prepare at the same time 
and we're we're off to the races again. So I really needed to think this through when it came to how I was going to handle needing more storage. And the good thing about the Dr. Prepare battery is that you can run them in parallel. And out of the box, this 100 amp hour gives you 1,248 watt hours of power, which is half of what the AC 200 Max does. So if I, if I down the road, I buy another um, battery, then, you know, I'm covered even more as far as having a place to store more energy as well as uh, adding redundancy to my system in my RV and actually as far as that goes in my house. Now, one of the things that I'm doing, as I spoke before, is these smart plugs by CASA. Um, they're part of the TP-Link family and I'm using them over here and they're on timers on my smartphone. So, you know, if I'm sitting upstairs watching TV and I don't want to come here and see what's going on with charging and whatever, I can look at the Blue Eddy Bluetooth app and see what the charge is of the Blue Eddy and then turn on the brick, turn off the brick, all those sorts of things. And the same with the uh, NoGo or NoCo Genius 25. I can, I can turn the charging on to uh, charge the... Uh, um, the doctor prepare battery as well so look look for a future video um, doing a review on the no code genius 25 and the um, doctor prepare battery um, because I'm going to be doing videos on that and I'm also going to be doing one other video I've seen posted on the Facebook Blue Eddy groups uh, somebody had a complaint that EcoFlow solar generators you're allowed to they have a timer built in that will turn the Blue Eddy off um, and on um, at certain times. Well, I've figured out a way to do that for the 200 Max or, or any of the Blue Eddy uh, uh, solar generators. So look for that video as well. It, 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 it's not a real complicated situation or uh, scenario, but I, I figured it out and I'm going to post a video about that as well. So. Anyhow, I hope you like my, uh, my AC200 Blue Eddy server rack. Um, I took some time to make sure that, you know, everything is labeled the way it should be. And uh, everything is safe. You know, all my uh, alligator clips and so on are all sitting on pieces of wood. So there's no chance of sparking anything or blowing anything up in that sense. And... Um, I'm really pleased with how this turned out and as I add more components to it I'll, uh, I'll post, post more videos about that. So anyhow, uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this update about my Blue 80 AC 200 Max and please subscribe to the channel. It's free. Um, I do lots of videos about technology, about uh, Canadian finance. Um, other breaking news that's going on in, uh, in the world to do with pensions and so on as I'm a retired guy. And um, hit the like button. It really helps out my channel. My channel has been doing really, really well in the last six months to a year. Um, lots of views and lots of subscribers and likes and so on. And I'm really happy with that. Um, you know, I am retired. Um, it, it's, it's part of my my. I guess you could say my, my work life now, <laughs> my retired work life. So anyhow, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned some helpful information and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot. Take care.